Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to ARO. Uh, I, I like this this morning. I actually had a lot of conviction in this and I didn't do the first trade. And, and the reason I didn't do the first trade, uh, here was the first trade, is because it didn't have enough volume. And, 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 I, and I just should have taken something, anything, anything I should have. And I didn't do it. <laughs> and here was the first move of this. Look, it was beautiful with a nothing stop, negligible. And and it just didn't have enough volume. And I have rules. I mean, I really do have volume rules. So I follow my rules. So I really can't be upset with myself for not doing this. But then I did watch it and I really, really wanted to do it. As it turns out, it rallied back a little bit more than 50% of the retracement. But when it did this, then I said, okay, this is still good. And I was looking at this in the daily. Let's bring this up here in the daily. Here's what I was looking at. With this morning, it came down to here, which was the first target. So that's where it just ran off into. And when it rallied back up, this is where it went up into. See that there? It was right like basically here, to the resistance. So I decided to do it and it was really, really a good entry. And so I took it. I did this here 82 by 88 and I even liked it a little more when it backed up here. And actually at this point I could have lowered the stop, but I kept it at 88 for a while. And then I kept drifting on down and going on down and drifting on down. And then I did decide to lower the stop to 76 at one point here. And then it kept going down, kept going down, kept going down. And then I did decide to get out of actually half only because it was just really getting late. I decided to get out of half at 70. And then I ended up lowering the stop for the whole thing, like late into this period here, um, down to 73. And I got taken out of the uh, rest of it at 73. So I'm sitting here watching it and I'm like, oh, I should have just kept the stop for the whole thing at 76 because I really thought it was good. But the reality was as the day goes on and the later it gets and I, you know, I just lose patience with things. So it did retest the area and held right here at 1130 and held the exact place that I lowered the stop. I mean, this is like perfect. It's really, really perfect. And when it was doing this, then obviously then I was out, but I saw it reset up here in the 15 minute. I didn't do it. And I was like, okay, fine. I guess I'm just going to call it a day. But then when it came down in here and came down in here and I saw it hit on this number again here, I know when things do this that they're going to break. Here, it was around the 12.30 period. So I made a decision to retake this trade. And when you decide to do something late, well, by late I mean enter a new trade any time after 11 o'clock Eastern time because that's, that's really late for me. And the only reason I did this is because it retested 65 and held. It was a nice five minute. It was a tight, tight stop. I did not take as much size as I did on the first trade. I figured if this goes then, I'll chunk on a little extra in my day. And I was prepared to take the loss if it failed. I was still going to have money from this uh, first trade, though. But I realized, really, I should have never uh, gotten out of anything. I should have kept the whole stop over 76, which I didn't. And I was like, crap, this is going to break, and I'm not in it. And, it. and the next number was 850 and then 840, and it could go on even more. And actually, I'm sitting here for me this video thinking, should I do it again? This is going to break again. Look, it's doing it right here. I, I'm, I'm done now for the day, though. I'm not going to do this again. But this backed up to 850 and held, and so this is probably going to break again. Let me just look here. Yeah, I think this goes to 830 today, but I, I'm, I've got to shut this down now. I, I've just been I've taken, taken quite a few trades today, and I was tight with stuff. I was just tight with stuff here because, like, I didn't do this first move in the morning and stuff stuff didn't set up as cleanly as I wanted it to in the morning. So I just got tight with things as the day went on, the morning went on, and that's okay. I mean, especially if you're taking great entries like this with size and you're up right away. So anyways, I did, I did this. I did this, and it ran down in here, and I had a nice exit when it bounced on the one. And it, and it actually did not break 40 here. And I, and I could have just gotten this whole thing. I really just ended, I could have just gotten this whole thing with the first initial trade and I had more size, but I retook it. Um, and then as soon as this went, triggered right over this guy, boom, I was out in this bar. 
So it was a really nice trade today in this. Again, it doesn't look like much. I traded this with size. You can do this with ARO. There's plenty of volume in it now. Plenty of volume in it every trade I, I ended up doing today. The one I didn't do in the morning didn't have volume, but actually would have been fine because the setup was good. And it just goes to show you, you know, when these setups sometimes work and break like that, you can take them. I'm just in such a habit of trading things with size, then it's strange for me to not do it with size. But anything you would have taken in the first setup this morning worked and ran down 30 some cents and the stop was like five pennies. Uh, and actually every entry in this today was really, really good that I did. So this is ARO. This is the stocks will show uh, play today and really did end up going to the uh, number of 840, broke 850. And, and this could go down to 8.30. I, I'm really not going to do this again, though, here today. It's it's quarter of two. Uh, but if this sets up again, it, even on the five or the 15-minute chart, well, it's already triggered here on the five. Uh, this could very well break down again. Uh, this is not going to recover itself today. It really is going to hold the uh, weightiness and the weakness in itself today. And uh, this is going to follow through tomorrow. Like, there's no way this gets to $8 today. Watch, I'll say that now. I'm going to come back and look. It'll be at $8. But I think tomorrow, tomorrow, I, I really can't go back in and do this. If it goes to $8 today, I won't be in it. And if it sets up again and you want to do it, you can. <laughs> Enough for me here, though, today. This is ARO, and uh, I this is follow through on this tomorrow. Absolutely, no matter what, unless for some reason it goes down to $8 today, which who knows it could. Actually, even if it goes to $8 today, it's still going to have follow through tomorrow. Anyways, this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is ARO. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. If you'd like more information on the upcoming GAP course this weekend on November 9th and 10th, you can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. If you'd like to learn how to trade gaps, how to how to take these entries, uh, particularly these very, very specific entries I'm talking about here, uh, I teach them in the class. A uh, great risk to reward, even in this little rinky dinker. Um, both the trades here today, um, you know, worked out with very small stops. And you certainly can do that if you know how to read numbers correctly. Anyone's interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.